Hello, small group folks. My name is Dr. Jay Cardinal, and each week I issue a challenge to small group leaders. The challenge is given quickly, but if done with intentionality, it can change your group and channel your efforts toward kingdom growth. Last week, I started a series called Make Room for Folks. We explored the concept of literally, physically making room for the guests that your group is expecting. Today, I want to offer you a challenge to be a room with folks and focus on outreach. I was looking through my role a few weeks ago. We, we have a binder at our church where we have a role, a prayer sheet, and a contact list and things like that in there. Maybe one day I'll talk about that. But I was looking through our role, and I, was, I noticed that we have everybody listed out there, and at the bottom there's a place to mark for visitors. And there's a place where you can write in visitors who become consistent and begin attending your group. And I noticed something that was good and something that was not so good. The good thing was I noticed that our attendance had been pretty uh, consistent. You know, I looked back over the few months, and, and I noticed there's the ups and downs of, of summer holidays and, and things like that, and even deer season was able to be noticed. But I started looking, and I noticed something. Just like most groups, after 18 to 24 months, my group had kind of congealed. It had coalesced as a unit. And I noticed that there weren't so many places where they marked a visitor or had moved a visitor to a consistent attender. And that's nobody's fault. It's actually normal. You know, 99% of the time, the group didn't get together. They didn't hold a meeting and say, we're full. No more people. It's just kind of what happens when a group congeals and coalesces. But we need to be intentional about our outreach efforts. As Alan Taylor says, good intentions are as good as no intentions unless you get intentional about your good intentions. So let me give you three ways to be intentional about your good intentions to become a room with folks. First, know the prospects. Usually the best people to reach out to when we're trying to reach new people are people that we're already connected to, people we're already tied to in the community. And so I would encourage you to have your group take a piece of paper and write down one person that they know who doesn't attend church, that doesn't attend a group, or who doesn't know Jesus. And I guarantee you, you will have yourself a prospect list. Know the prospects. Second, know the connections. Is this person a friend, a relative, an acquaintance, or a neighbor? You see, friends are sometimes the easiest to reach out to, but sometimes they're also difficult because friends know the best part of us and they know the worst parts of us. But a friend will usually trust your judgment. Families are kind of similar. They know the best and the worst, but sometimes they don't always trust our judgment. So friends and families are are difficult and easy in different ways to reach out to. Acquaintances and neighbors, they might require you a more delicate, long-term approach to reaching out to them. So what kind of person, what are the connections you have to these prospects? Third, make connections with the prospects. Once you have your list of prospects, once you know how you're connected to those prospects, it's time to reach out to them. Someone who is maybe interested in church, Someone who's not antagonistic to church, a friend, maybe it can be reached out to through a simple invitation. Maybe even a text sometimes can invite them to church or to your group, but reach out to these people in that way. Maybe if someone is more antagonistic, maybe they're just opposed to church, they're not thinking about that type of thing at all, maybe your group can commit to pray for them long term. Just say, we're going to pray for this person every week. And so you can reach out to them simply through prayer. Lastly, there are those friends or or, or acquaintances who just start thinking about church or you don't really know them all that well. You can invite them to a group fellowship. You can have a party, have a cookout, do something at the lake. Invite these friends to join you, these acquaintances to join you for those things so that you can build a relationship with them and earn the ability to invite them to your group. These three things, know the prospects, know the connections, and making connections are basic. They are not rocket science. So let's get intentional about our desire to reach new people. Even if you've got to skip the lesson one week and spend time talking about these things and making this list, I encourage you to do it. Get intentional about making room for folks and being a room filled with folks. Hope this helps. I'll see you next week.